With its treacherous roads and constant threat of assault and robbery by bushrangers, travellers to the goldfields of Victoria during the 1850s had every reason to fear the journey through the dreaded Black Forest. In the mid-19th century, Australia had been turned upside down with gold fever. People were coming from all over the world to seek their fortunes on Victoria's newly discovered goldfields. After arriving in Melbourne, people travelled by foot, horseback or dray to go try their luck searching for gold. But the road from Melbourne to the world-renowned Mount Alexander and Bendigo diggings took travellers directly through the infamous Black Forest. The scenic beauty of the Mount Macedon area was always accompanied by the apprehension travellers felt as they neared the dreaded woods. Notorious for its perilous conditions and the bushrangers who lay waiting in the shadows, the Black Forest had quickly gained a fearsome reputation. Many terrible accounts were recorded in old journals and letters of the countless assaults and robberies endured by travellers as they passed through. Bushrangers like Black Douglas and Captain Melville took advantage of the forest's terrible road conditions and limited visibility through the woods. These sinister men lurked in the shadows waiting to help themselves to the pockets of new travellers to the goldfields and to the dazzling riches which were carried from the diggings back to Melbourne. Ellen Clacy offered detailed descriptions of the Black Forest in her book A Lady's Visit to the Gold Diggings of Australia in 1852-53, and her experience painted a very ominous picture. As they approached the woods on their way to the goldfields, Clacy and her party discussed whether they should spend the night before reaching the Black Forest, or to continue their journey and camp within the forest itself. Despite their apprehension, they decided to camp within the woods. It was the next morning while at breakfast that their fears were realised. Their group was accosted by a band of bushrangers. Fortunately, their travelling money had been hidden in the lining of Clacy's dress, and they got away relatively unharmed. Not everyone was as fortunate. A Polish miner wrote in his memoir of the stories he'd heard about bushrangers in the Black Forest tying their victims to a tree and leaving them to the ants, mosquitoes and hunger. Very rarely were they found in time. More often, travellers came across their skeletons tied to trees. Twelve-year-old Lucy Hannah Birchall mentioned the roads through the Black Forest in her letters to her grandmother and said that no one that has not seen them can imagine anything worse. Their dray got stuck in the evening while passing through the forest, so they had no choice but to light a fire and settle in for the night. All eight of them camped on top of the dray, hoping to make it through to morning undisturbed. Today, the Black Forest is marked by a sign along Black Forest Drive on the way into Wood End, and many people driving through it are completely unaware of the forest's nefarious history. The town of Wood End got its name due to being at the end of the dreaded woods. Travellers to the goldfields must have felt a great relief when they reached the place, beyond the clutches of the bushrangers prowling in the forest behind them. Although the days of bushranging in the Black Forest are long gone, you can still take a scenic walk through the woods and contemplate its perilous history. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, let me know by hitting the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Goldfields Guide on YouTube.